and it came out very clean. done I just need to turn it on and do the calibration then it will raise this bit and we can take the foam out but for now we are almost done the AMS is on we also get these filaments it comes with a printer it's a test print 250 grams they also send me a bunch of filaments type like PLA PLA plus matte PETG and carbon fiber and they also send me two bit sheets one of them for high temperature and this is the standard one all right, here's one of the bits. This is the standard one for PLA, ABS, PETG, and it looks really cool and high quality. And this one is for high temperature one, but overall, thanks to Bamboo Lab for sending me all these. I'm really excited to test it out. Now I'm gonna put the filaments on and do the calibration and the update. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCB Way as all-in-one manufacturer from 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Whether if you print a car part that you can't find on the market or you want to print it with better material, they have variety of material to choose from: resin, nylon, aluminum, titanium, or you can type the material you want here. This is a great place for those of you who has a project car and most of the parts will be designed specifically and has to be manufactured. After choosing the material, it will tell you the price and shipping date depending on the 3D model that you uploaded. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. It's really surprising. I knew it's fast, but I didn't knew that fast. And now it's at 100%, like we can go faster. And this is my first Benchy. I have never 
printed Bepsi before, but yeah, that's the cool thing. We can see it live too and take a time lapse. It's really cool. All right, the bench is about to finish and it took, I think, 25 minutes. It's really fast. And you can also turn the light off and on over here. They made everything so easy. Like, I can't believe uh, why I never had something like this before. Like, it's very easy. One of the coolest thing about Bamboo Labs 3D printer, if you would ask me, I would say it's not about being fast or multicolor. It's about when it does the first layer, it will check it if everything is good and then it will continue printing. Because for me, when I was pressing print and I would leave or maybe sometimes I would forget and come back, I see spaghetti. But with this one, I would never have that problem because it checks for me. That's the thing I would like about 3D printing with Bamboo Lab right now. And it's the first thing it caught my eye. All right, it's done. The quality looks very good. If you look it from far, it looks like resin printed. But the real thing is, if I would print it with my printers, I would break this very easily. But with this one, it looks very sturdy. I'm really impressed. So now we will print some of the part of my Toyota Supra and see how it will be. And after that, I will do multicolor printing, the headlight maybe. So we will see. Isn't that cool? The printer running on the other room and I'm here watching it and I can work on my laptop as well without hearing the noise. I will go change it and it will be finished now. Alright, I had a failed print, it was on me, it wasn't the printer because I didn't check this. It's a cool plate and now we have to change it to textured PETG plate. It will heat it up, but on this one, after I took out the failed print, I figured out that the plate was cold, it wasn't hot. So that's why it didn't stick well. So now we're gonna choose textured PEI plate and do the print again. All right, it's done. After it's finished, you also get a notification on your phone. So it tells you that everything went well and you have a successful print. And here is it.
It's been a few days I'm using Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon with the AMS unit for multicoloring. Here I have some files, some of them are mine and some of the others are from the Bamboo Lab. You can find them in your internet section. They are here. But the good thing is you can send the file even if you're not printing. You can send it and store it in the printer. But you have to have the SD card here for time lapping and saving these files. So here I have these files. Here is the font stand, but it's not that good. I don't like the file. I like mine. Here is mine. It's more sturdy and you can adjust it as well. But the thing is, the quality is very good. Here I have multicolor. You can have this kind of multicoloring with the normal printer. You can stop it and then swap the filament. But with some kind of print like this, you're not going to be able to do that. This print took 24 hours to print this and the results are incredible. Like look at it. Here I have the benches. I never printed benchy, but with this one I did. It's my first two benches I did so far. And I have this one. It's also multicoloring and the accuracy is really good. I never had any problem with the accuracy, but this is the one. If you are in a market and buying a 3D printer, I suggest you to save some money and buy Bamboo Lab because you're not gonna have any problem with failing and all these spaghetti things. You're not gonna believe how much I spent on the filament for failed prints. Soon I will cut the Supra chassis project in half so we can fit it in this bit. This bit is 256 by 256 so most of you have this kind of printer size so I will cut it down so it's easy for printing for this kind of printer. And I have also the carbon fiber filament. I would like to try it out and see how good it is. Looks like resin printed. It really doesn't look like an FDM printer. The quality is very good, even the texture that it has, like in carbon fiber. But let's take the supports out. Oh, it looks very easy. That was easy. And it came out very clean. I haven't done anything or any sanding and it looks like it's been resin printed. I'm really excited about this material. I can't wait to print the whole panels with this carbon fiber one. A special thanks for Bamboo Lab for sending me this great printer. I would never know if I didn't try it myself. I will make sure to put the links in the video description box below where you can find the printer and all the filaments I used. Soon I will test print Supra parts with this printer. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.